Fox 5 News at 10 is just seconds away now. A family fights back against cyber bullies after their daughter is attacked. Their tips to protect your kids. A family launching a battle tonight against the cyber bullies who targeted their young daughter. Why they felt so helpless to stop this online attack. Fox 5 News at 10 starts now. When we were kids, bullying stayed on the playground. Now it follows you 24-7. A family fighting back tonight after they say cyber bullies unleashed a torrent of vicious and offensive comments while pretending to be their daughter. Good evening, I'm Russ Spencer. And I'm Amanda Davis. The family says two of their daughter's classmates created a fake Facebook page and then used it to send out friend requests and vile messages under her name. And when they couldn't stop it, they filed one of the first cyberbullying lawsuits in Georgia. Fox News' Justin Gray is live in Control 8 tonight with details. Justin? Russ, the girl's parents say they tried the school, the police, and Facebook, but for nearly a year, the fake page remained up. So the girl's parents have now filed suit to fight the bullies and to advocate for a cyberbullying law. I like that picture of you and Evie. At 14 years old, Alex Boston loves sharing photos and videos on Facebook. But she never expected what happened when she walked into school excited for field day. As soon as I got to school, I was all dressed up and happy. And then all of my friends started saying, why'd you say this to me on Facebook? Why'd you say this? This Facebook page had Alex's name, but a picture altered to make her look fat, and a string of racially offensive and sexually explicit posts too grand for us to show on TV. It was vulgar, nasty, just mean, and uh, it, it shocked us. Alex went home and showed her parents and eventually discovered two classmates were allegedly behind the bogus Facebook page. It was just, wow, I couldn't understand who would say this or why they'd say this about me. When we were kids, bullying stayed on the playground. Now it follows you 24-7. Alex's parents reported the cyberbullying to school officials and police but there was little anyone could do. 11 states have a cyber bullying law, but Georgia doesn't. If this would have been a fight on the playground, a juvenile court judge could have made the kids pick up trash on the highway for a month of Sundays and made them write essays about it. But with this situation, there's no recourse at all. And this fake Facebook page never came down. So this month, after trying for nearly a year to get the page down, they sued the children they believe were behind it and their parents. To untie the hands of the educators and the police in these kinds of situations so that the law in Georgia is able to address these situations. Alex says she's speaking up to try and help other kids. I just don't want it to happen to anybody else because it feels bad. We want to protect our child and we want to protect other children. And this week, after nearly a year of emails and complaints, fi Facebook finally took down the fake page. Alex's parents say they want to go forward with the lawsuit to bring attention to what they say is a hole in Georgia law, allowing these sorts of attacks. Reporting live in Control A tonight, Justin Gray, Fox 5 News. All right, Justin, thanks.